Assalamu alaikum. Is Israel occupying Palestine or perhaps returning to it? This is a question that sparks endless debates and conversations around the world. Today, we're diving deep into what the Quran, the holy book of Islam, says about the Israelites and their connection to the land of Israel. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict is often seen through the lens of occupation. Some people claim that Israel is an occupier and that the land should be returned to the Palestinians. Now, while this is a complex issue that can't be summarized in a single video, it would be interesting to see what is the Muslim perspective on Israel from the book of the Quran. First, let's read Surah 5, 21 from the Quran. O oh my people, enter the Holy Land which Allah has assigned to you and do not turn back and become losers. Here, Moses is speaking to the Israelites and stating clearly that Allah has assigned the Holy Land to them. This suggests that according to the Quran, the land belongs to the Israelites by divine decree. Interesting, right? Moving on to historical aspects, because we have to have some history. Let's read Surah 17, 2. We gave Moses the scripture and made it the guidance for the children of Israel, saying, Take no guardian other than me. This verse not only reinforces the Israelites' historical link to the land, but also confirms that they were given guidance through Moses. It's yet again another nod to the long-standing connection between the Israelites and the land in question. But I know, I know, I'm already making radicals angry for quoting from the Quran, and they may say it doesn't promise anything to the people of Israel and has nothing to do with the Israelites. So in their honor, let's dedicate this following verse to them. Regarding the current situation in Israel, the Quran still has more to say. Let's read Surah 1704. And we said after Pharaoh to the children of Israel, dwell in the land, dwell in the land. Then when there comes the promise of hereafter, we will bring you forth in gathering. This surah points to a future gathering of the Israelites in the land, affirming once again that their connection to the land isn't just historical, but also prophetic. Are you getting this? The Islam prophesizes about the gathering of Jews in Israel as a divine promise. It doesn't say anything about Palestinians because they didn't exist even in the era of the Quran. Even Islam recognizes the right of the Israelites to the Holy Land of Israel to live here, to thrive here. Allah Himself says it. The main point here is that if you're a Muslim who opposes the existence of Israel, you might want to re-examine these verses in the Quran. These are not my words, but direct citations from a book holy in Islam. The radical Islamists who terrorize Israel and dream about kicking us out of our ancestral homeland while chanting, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, are working against what Islam instructs them. For my Christian and Jewish friends, you'll find that the Bible is in agreement with these Quranic verses, acknowledging the covenant God made with Abraham and his descendants about the land. Both holy books share a consensus on this issue, making it a point of commonality rather than division. So to wrap things up, both the Quran and the Bible recognize the divine mandate and historical link of the Israelites to the land of Israel. As we strive for peaceful coexistence, let's ground our perspective in the texts that millions revere as sacred. Thank you very much for joining me. If you found this enlightening, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, may we all see peace and victory.